Hey, hey, Aquarius, intuitive soul coach here with your February 2022 love reading. So welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Aquarius and take a look at all things related to love, whether you are single, whether you are partnered up, or maybe you're taking a pause or a break to do some healing. We'll take a look at it all. So just a friendly reminder, this is a general reading. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you would like a personal reading or to be entered into that uh, free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right. Beautiful energy here. I'm excited to share with you. So in the category of your past, now this could be the last 10 weeks, the last 10 months, maybe even the last 10 years for some of you, we have the Cardinal showing up, which talks about messages from spirit. So I feel like a lot of you really were focusing on getting in touch with your higher self, maybe working on your spiritual side. Uh, this is about you connecting to the divine, maybe even receiving channeled messages on uh, something here that maybe you had kept locked away with the padlock energy. Uh, this can be the energy of you not being available to others. Maybe this is about others being emotionally unavailable for you as well. Uh, some of you received some intuitive uh, insights regarding a situation that was closed off or kind of locked away or hidden. You may have found out news about a situation here that your intuition knew all along. In the present moment, we have sweet surprises with the berries. So I really love this uh, beautiful month for some sweet surprises with Valentine's and it being the love month. Uh, you're going to receive, I feel, some sort of news uh, that will bring a lot of happiness and excitement to you. They're actually showing me uh, one of those chocolate hearts that have a lot of the little candies in them. And then in the position of your future... We have the chickens and we have the moose. So I love this. Uh, the chickens represent being in the moment. So really enjoying where you are at. For those of you that are single, you may be going on dates and it's about really enjoying being on the date, being in the moment. However, we have the moose right behind it. And this talks about you being in a position of power. If you are in a relationship here, I feel like you're going to feel um, a lot of forward movement. I'm getting emperor energy here. You're going to feel like you're able to take the next step moving forward in a relationship. But we're going to dive into your reading here. Aquarius and uh, see what is showing up for you. What is the heart of the matter for Aquarius February 2022? What is the heart of the matter? Okay, so we have uh, okay, thank you, Spirit. We have the eight, the Knight of Wands, which is the heart of the matter. And we have the challenge that came out here as well, which I will share with you. But the Knight of Wands is about you taking action. And that's exactly that energy of, like I said, moving forward, authority. So uh, somebody may be coming towards you this month, or you may be taking action towards uh, somebody that you have your eyes set on as well. But the Knight of Wands is a sweet talker. He's somebody who takes rapid paths passionate action. A lot of sexual chemistry here. Very adventurous. This could be your energy showing up as well. You're very daring, very exotic, and you want to discover new things about not only yourself, but other people. And I feel like that part of you or somebody else is really being highlighted this month. But we're going to dive in and clarify this energy here for you. Aquarius, please tell me about the Knight of Wands showing up here. What is going on with this Knight of Wands? King of Cups. Okay, you're going towards a, a higher level of commitment here. The King of Cups is somebody who, he has his emotions in check. He's emotionally evolved here. Someone who is very supporting, very uh, intelligent, very patient as well. So you may be really rushing towards this King of Cups uh, energy here, or somebody, again, may be coming towards you that has a lot of love to offer. They're going to offer you their cup. So I like this showing up for you. In the position of the challenge and how we can help you overcome it, we have the Eight of Swords. So I love that the Eight of Swords shows up as your challenge because in the reverse, which is how we'll read it in the challenge position here, it's actually saying that an opportunity or situation is showing up for you in February that's going to offer you freedom. 
So the challenge here of uh, you felt possibly stuck in a situation. Uh, maybe you felt like somebody was not available. Maybe you had your heart on lockdown here. Whatever that situation was where you felt caged or where you felt stuck here in the past, you're freeing yourself up from this energy and allowing more love to enter your energy. So this is really neat showing up right away. Let's take a look and clarify this Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords says you're definitely moving towards freedom. You're releasing yourself from maybe an old mental story that you told yourself over and over here, Aquarius. And this could even be a person. This could be a pattern. Whatever it is for you, it'll be different for everyone. Yeah, there it is. You're opening yourself up. Eight of Swords now in reverse uh, is the same energy. Beautiful. So they are clarifying that uh, there's truth. And you can see here when it's upright in this deck here well in even in this one here but when this is upright she's closed off she's bound by the bound by the um the blindfold and the cuffs on her hands here but in the challenge position you're freeing yourself you're opening your eyes up to what's right in front of you and i feel like you have a sweet surprise coming in uh you're gonna no longer be single nine of pentacles showing up in reverse as well uh, the Nine of Pentacles is a beautiful card about independence. It is sometimes known as the single card. So I feel like if you've been single for quite a while, or if you are in a relationship where there's been some sort of a disconnect, expect a surprise to come in here, Aquarius. That's going to leave you feeling quite happy. I like this. I've, I've never really even had such a positive challenge for you, but it's not even really a challenge. It's a, it's a, solution to a challenge that's being cleared up let's take a look and see what is the root of the the energy here what's the below you five of pentacles you possibly felt like you were left out in the cold uh, that you had a lot of love to give here aquarius but maybe no one to give it to or maybe every time you tried to give your heart to somebody uh, they rejected it in one way form or another the five of pentacles talks about you finally uh, feeling a warmth in your heart area here. So I feel like whatever the surprise is that's coming in for you, uh, it's actually going to cause your, you know, you could see the top half of this uh, or the bottom half. It's going to cause your heart to open up. There's something with the re-blooming process here. And uh, you can see that there's snow all around her. So something has gone cold here for you in the past. But you're going to receive a sweet surprise that's going to warm you up again. I like this. Let's take a look and clarify the Five of Pentacles for Aquarius. Five of Pentacles. All right. We have the star showing up for you. Now, the star is about healing. It's about uh, positivity, self-care, growth, especially if you felt in the past that there was a lack of hope. You felt like maybe you'd never find love or maybe this relationship would never grow in advance or somebody wouldn't open up. Well, there's a new sense of purpose, a new sense of hope now, because in the past there was a lack of, there was a feeling left out. Like why does everybody else have to have these good things coming in and why can't I? Uh, maybe even longing for uh, the love that you you didn't have or you haven't had but the star says there's healing you've been through this healing and now you're having a sense of hope that um because of the surprise that's showing in showing up for you and it's about enjoying being in the moment being in uh, the company of another of another person here so the star card is one of the most positive cards in the deck i love it let's see what's going on in your past what is showing up for aquarius in the recent past Two of Swords, okay. So this is you feeling like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. This is about you needing to make a decision, a difficult one at that. Maybe even feeling at a crossroads with another person, feeling a little bit of that stalemate energy, feeling bored, frustrated, fed up, not quite sure which way to go. And you can see here that she wasn't uh, wasn't clear on which way to go. She has the uh, birdhouse that's kind of covering her eyes there. So I feel like there was a decision that maybe was even taken out of uh, out of your hands but your intuition especially with the cardinal energy messages from spirit your intuition guided you to make a decision that needed to be done here or maybe a decision was taken out of your hands but it was spiritually and divinely guided okay uh three of cups talks about 
Yeah, I mean, it could be third party energy for some of you regarding this uh, decision. But what I'm really getting is you may have talked to your friends or your soul tribe about how to move forward. This is a card of celebrating. It's the card of connections here. It's the card of being with your soul group and asking for help or enjoying your time with them. Especially if you were single, getting out and trying to enjoy time with other like-minded individuals. All right, let's see what is showing up above you. What opportunities or potential are coming in for Aquarius? What is this sweet surprise all about? I like it. Oh, yes, we have the Emperor. This is strong energy. So for those of you that are looking for this Emperor, uh, your counterpart, your other half here, I feel it's certainly showing up. And this may take you by surprise. Okay, we have the Berry showing up here. Uh, and the Emperor is all about stability and somebody who's very grounded, somebody who takes charge of their life. So this could be you embodying the energy of the emperor. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is you finding this uh, other piece that you've been wanting for a, a long time in your love life. It's about leveling up, stepping up to the plate here, taking charge and um, building a life that is worth living with another uh, individual. But let's clarify what this is for you here. This is really wonderful. I figured that's what the sweet surprise was coming in. Uh, somebody's really going to take you by surprise as well. But let's take a look and clarify. Oh, yeah. Four of Cups in reverse. New opportunities. You were getting bored. You are getting a little bit frustrated, I see here. Uh, for those of you that are single, for those of you that are in a relationship, you weren't quite sure uh, if this opportunity would work or last. And because of some sort of decision that was made here in the past, somebody is stepping up to the plate. There's a, a leader taking action type of energy. Four of Cups in reverse says there's a brand new opportunity uh, presenting itself, something that in the past you feel like you missed out on and maybe we're in that energy a little longer than you wanted to be here, Aquarius. But there's a new, new opportunity showing up for you and it has to do with this emperor. All right, let's take a look and see what is coming in for you in the near future. What is showing up for Aquarius in the near future? King of Wands. So I feel like this is you marching to the beat of your own drum. This is, again, even though we have position of power showing up here, that's this emperor. You are manifesting this position of power. And that's what the uh, emperor embodies. And this is about you being in the moment. You being spontaneous. You being adventurous. You kind of living life by um, enjoying what's right in front of you. I really like this. A lot of passion. You're moving towards something here that is bringing in a lot more stability, a lot more loyalty, a lot more commitment. The King of Wands is somebody who uh, loves to travel and somebody who's well-spoken, well-versed, dresses well. He's very intelligent, respected, um, just like the Emperor showing up here as well. But he's a little more carefree and he uh, has and chases his passion. So I feel whatever this passion is here, this sweet surprise, you're moving forward in that direction. So this is really good. This is one of the best love readings I think I've done out of all the signs. And I'm about done here. Uh, I think one, one left after this. And I feel like you have something really nice coming in. Some of you may be even getting some sort of a, a proposal. Uh, or, uh, I mean, that could be a proposal in marriage. It could be a proposal to move in with somebody. It could be a proposal to date. Uh, but there's a, a next step here. There's a new energy. Ace of Pentacles is beautiful because this is a brand new beginning, building something stable. And that's what you are moving towards. So I like this. So do pay attention uh, to the opportunities presenting themselves. If you do not move forward in a passionate, exciting, optimistic way, then you could miss out on brand new opportunities that are showing up for you. So again, they're really highlighting the chickens here. And I feel like uh, this is about you staying in the moment. If you are constantly thinking too far into the future or too far into the past here, you could miss out on the opportunity. So huge message here. You don't want to miss out. So stay in the present moment. All right, Aquarius, what are you telling yourself? What are you telling yourself this month, February 2022? You're telling yourself to stay strong. Yeah, Leo energy here. You're telling yourself that you have the inner strength. You have the willpower. You have the endurance 
to attract the love that you desire. And some of you are still going through a little bit of a healing due to a decision that had to be made here in the past. But the strength card is making sure you are not led by urges, which just could be sexual urges for some of you. Uh, for others, this is about making sure you're not self-sabotaging new love that is coming in. Um, don't feel... Uh, I feel vulnerable enough to open yourself up here, uh, but also pay attention to any uh, sabotage traits that you may have is, <clears throat> excuse me, is the message that's showing up here for you. Let's take a look and clarify why the strength card showing up for Aquarius. Why the strength card? Okay, because of a tower, something that's happened here in the past, tower moment. And I'm glad that you had the star showing up uh, because, again, that star is about healing. So I feel the tower, that is what you are working on overcoming, something regarding a love situation. So uh, you may be focused, the message here is you may be focused on whatever this tower was or focusing on rebuilding. But again, new opportunities for love, for growth, for high-level commitment are showing up for you. So do make sure that you are staying in the moment so you don't miss these opportunities. Yes, this tower moment came in but it came in for you maybe it came in quite hot as well to um, shake things up because you were feeling stagnant you were feeling bored so stay strong because you have a, a beautiful new beginning presenting itself to you here let's see what is showing up in your energy what is showing up for Aquarius in the surrounding energy February Ooh, there it is commitments Commitment showing up here. I love this. This is about divine guidance. And you did get that in the past with the messages from spirit. It's also about um, learning. And it could be about marriage as well for some of you. But the Hierophant showing up here is about a high level commitment uh, that will involve some deep learning. Not only about another person, but about yourself. And I feel like you will be able to gain a lot from this higher level of commitment showing up for you. So let's take a look. Again, there's that card of commitment. So some of you are receiving uh, news. You're taking action to committing uh, to a higher level in a relationship or saying yes. Even if you're single and uh, you kind of been dating for a while, because that's what this two of pentacles represents is maybe going back and forth. Maybe it's back and forth between, you know, diff trying different uh, energies out. Or uh, this is maybe somebody has their foot half in, half out. I feel like somebody's finally willing to commit, willing to put in the effort, willing to put in the work. So this is really good news for you, Aquarius. Let's take a look and see what are your hopes and what are your fears. The star. You want to heal. You want... Uh, your dreams to come true. This is about healing after that tower that we just spoke of here. And the fear here is, the fear is what if I lack this hope? What if this doesn't show up the way that I want it to? So, I mean, legitimate hopes and fears here, but there's a lot of healing in this energy, Aquarius. And I feel like your hopes will overpass any sort of fears that you have regarding a situation that's happened for you here due to this choice that needed to be made due to a tower moment that's happened for you in the past. Maybe somebody left you deserted, left you out in the cold here, but um, that's not showing up in your future any longer. There's commitment here and it's something quite strong. So let's take a look at the star. What is the star showing us? Okay, Queen of Swords. Why? You're setting healthy boundaries. You know to pay attention to the red flags. And they're right. They're like, there's a red flag there. You can see the red flag, but there's also a yellow flag and a blue flag. So what they're showing me is you communicating effectively. And then also this yellow flag... It's about uh, your power and you have that coming in position of power. And then that red flag energy is about your stability. So you're moving towards uh, healthier boundaries for yourself. You can see here though that she has her cup and it is behind bars. But I feel like if somebody is, uh, is showing red flags tor towards you, you're putting up your boundary and you're saying, no, I deserve more. And that's what you will attract is respect. If you're able to set up healthy boundaries for yourself and others with this Queen of Swords uh, energy, then you're able to receive that in return because somebody may have walked on you in the past and you said, never again, Aquarius, I'm not letting that happen. No more in and out BS. I want commitment. 
All right, let's take a look and see what is the final outcome for Aquarius. This is one of my favorite uh, parts of the reading is the final outcome. I feel like it is for everybody, uh, but let's take a look. Justice, yes, uh, Libra and energy here. Aquarius, some of you may be dealing with a Libra or you're just finding balance in a situation. The Justice card is about weighing up your options, but it's about equality and fairness. So I feel like you are bringing fairness to a situation. Some of you may have been dealing with legalities. It could be due to uh, something in the legal system. Uh, but for the majority of you, I feel like this is karma. What goes around comes around and you've put in a lot of your heart. You've invested a lot of time uh, into relationships that maybe haven't done the same. So now the good karma is coming back to you. Now things are going to be balanced here because you can see in her scales, they're finally balanced. So in this situation of your love life, you're going to see that things are fair to you. And also good communication because you can see the sword she's holding. She's not willing to deal with any BS, but she's willing to communicate her needs and what it is that she expects out of a relationship, but also letting and uh, laying the ground rules for uh, do's and don'ts in a union showing up here. So there is commitment, but I feel like it's going to leave you feeling a lot better about the way that things may have turned out in the past and this is good karma if you are dealing with legalities and the legal system at all uh, this is about you coming out on top you uh, being in a position of power here again with the moose so this is a wonderful uh, card to have as your outcome. But let's take a look and clarify this justice card showing up for you. This is a major yes card. So if you did have a question in mind or if you are thinking, is something going to work out in my favor? The justice says yes, absolutely. Especially in this deck here. All right, let's take a look. Yep, three of pentacles. Uh, teamwork makes the dream work. So you may be speaking to others at this time. Uh, this is about dedicated collaboration. There's going to be collaboration that will work out in your favor. Okay, that's very beautiful. I like this for you. All right, Aquarius, let's get a message for you from the wisdom of the oracle. And I will read to you the relationship message from the guidebook. So let's see here. What do we have for Aquarius? Wisdom of the oracle. Thank you. We have soulmates. Okay. So I am going to read you the upright, but I'm going to read you the reversal as well. But you're definitely calling in a soulmate here. Somebody who uh, wants to be in this high level commitment. You're calling it in. You know that this is a soulmate energy for some of you. If you are in a relationship, you're taking it to the next level. All right, uh, so this is about harmonious partnerships. It talks about love, love, friendship, companionships, also personal growth. Uh, and the relationship message is this. Consider love in the deepest sense. Love so powerful that you will never be the same, regardless of how long your relationship lasts. Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude. Or break you open so you will finally claim who you were meant to be. Even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Uh, sorry about that here. I see a little bit of uh, funny lights. So we're just going to get some new lighting in here for you. All right, Aquarius, where were we here? Uh, it says, pay attention for you are in the presence of a soulmate come to guide you home to the real you. So very powerful. That's the energy I'm getting. If you are single, uh, do pay attention here to this new opportunity presenting itself. Uh, I'm also going to read the, the uh, reversal because it may resonate with your energy as well. It says, an important relationship brings you to your knees. This is the kind of soulmate who comes in with a powerful gift. Your patterns and all your old stories that don't serve you serve you well, well-being, enter into this dynamic so you can heal them. This person is called to a sacred task to help you learn, even if it seems uncomfortable, sticky, or even inconceivable. 
The question is not why did he or she do this to me, but rather what is the gift in this? Look in the mirror. You will only be changed for the better. Absolutely, Aquarius. You are going through a lot with that tower moment of whatever had happened here, but I feel like you're attracting or have already attracted the soulmate relationship in that is here to teach you powerful, powerful lessons. So really beautiful. All right, let's get a message here for you, Aquarius, with a Soul Truth deck. And if you have been taking notes, Aquarius, I do recommend that you jot this question down and ask yourself this throughout the month of February. What else could this mean? There are always multiple ways to look at every situation. Our first reaction is usually rooted in our fears and limiting beliefs. Look at a situation today by stepping outside of the trigger and ask, what else could this mean? Today's soul action. Is there something your soul is calling you to learn in this moment? Or is there a pattern that is ready to be broken? Walk in the other person's shoes and see it from their perspective. If it doesn't involve someone else, ask yourself, how is life happening for me right now? really powerful. This is the same kind of energy that is showing up with the soulmates, talking about some deep lessons as well, looking at a situation by seeing it from a higher perspective and uh, moving into a new sense of energy here. We've got a lot going on with the lighting here. So pay attention because I feel like there will be strong clarity coming in for you here, Aquarius, this month. And I feel like you will be seeing something from a completely different uh, frame of mind. So I like this. All right, we're going to get a few messages from your power animal at this time. So if I could just have you close your eyes, Aquarius, for a moment and drop down to that third eye center and take a deep breath in the belly. Now the third eye is between your eyebrows. And I want you to think of the first animal that shows up in your mind's eye. Now this can be an animal that flies high in the sky. Maybe it's an animal that swims deep in the sea. Perhaps it is an animal that is wild, domesticated, mystical or magical. There is no right or wrong answer, Aquarius. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and for those of you who would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is drop your power animal that you've seen in your mind's eye in the comment box below. And I personally will enter you into that free monthly reading giveaway. All right. The messages that we have for you, we have Buffalo, Buffalo Spirit. And it says the abundant universe will provide. So a lot of you are getting, um, they're showing me the justice card with this Buffalo Spirit. So this is that position of power. The universe has your back in a situation here and you will come out on top. All right, the next card, it says Flamingo Spirit, embrace the in-between. There's an in-between that you are going through. There's a transitional stage or journey where you are attracting a higher level of commitment here uh, for some of you. For others of you, you're going through a very spiritual awakening uh, regarding love, regarding relationships. Next, we have Cat Spirit. It says, claim your independence. Claim your independence with cat spirit. So a lot of you are marching to the beat of your own drum. You're doing something here uh, on your own, moving forward, coming up out of a cycle, coming up out of that tower energy here. Next, we have Swan Spirit. Time for a deep dive. Yes. Now, for those of you that are coming out of a high-level commitment, this could be a commitment even towards yourself, committing that you will set healthy boundaries and never uh, let anything like that happen to you that happened in the past. And then lastly, yes, this is it, Skunk Spirit. It says, know your worth because you are very worthy, Aquarius. You deserve love in the highest form. And that's what that soulmate energy is. So even if this soulmate comes in uh, and it's a, a reason, a season, or a lifetime, there's always a lesson here uh, of you focusing on why this happened, what triggers were brought out, what needed to be healed for you to emotionally evolve. So know your worth. All right. 
And last but not least, Aquarius, we are going to get a message from the Crystal Spirit Oracle book here. And for those of you that are interested in any of the decks I uh, use during your reading or any that you see up above here, you can find all of the information in the description box below. So let's get a message here from the Crystal Spirits. And your crystal is Labradorite, one of my favorite stones here. And uh, let's see here, Labradorite is a very, very beautiful stone that has a lot of different facets here, a lot of different colors, if you can see that. Uh, just a wonderful stone, and it almost is the same size and mirrors that same energy here. So really beautiful. Uh, this stone, Labradorite, is... a uh, very positive energy here, but it's about connecting body, mind, soul, also bringing in clarity, but I will read to you the relationship message. Let's see, it's card 29, which when you break that down, nine plus two equals 11, and that is your outcome card. That is the card of justice. So let's just take a look here. Card 29 is about an awakening, and that's what I said earlier. You're going through a major awakening, a shift in your energy. It says uh, synchronicity and mystery. It talks about help from unexpected sources. So there's gonna be a sweet surprise that comes in for you that really brings in a lot of happiness. Your relationship message is this. Labradorite Spirit's message to you today is to be open to magic synchronicities so that you release your fears about love and open up to it fully. Look for the signs that you are loved, for they will reassure you that the universe is working with you to co-create loving partnerships that you desire. Perhaps the relationship you're in has more potential than you think, or perhaps it is an important opportunity that will prepare you for the one that you truly deserve. Give up the need for certainty right now and instead leave room for magic and open yourself up to the signs from the universe pointing to what you must need to know at this moment. You deserve that loving partnership you seek for yourself. Let the universe help you co-create it. This is really powerful for you here, Aquarius. You are calling in this higher level of commitment, this relationship that you've been wanting to grow for some time if you are currently in a relationship. It's, uh, it's bringing you up to a new level, and that's the energy I'm getting. But stay in the moment and don't think too far into the past. Don't think far into the future. Enjoy where you are at in this time. There will be, uh, justice will prevail here. Good karma coming your way. There is an end of possibly a karmic cycle that has happened for you, but it's going to bring things back into balance, especially if they were in balance for quite some time. So uh, there's a higher level of commitment, whether it's with yourself uh, moving forward and honoring your soul's truth, or this is in a, another relationship here. So Labradorite, a uh, beautiful stone to have on your side, especially in love in the month of February. All right, Aquarius, that is what I have for your February 2022 love reading. I hope it resonates. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Do comment your power animal in the comment box below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I am sending all of you wonderful Aquarians a lot of love and light. Till next time.